Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is a subject that you are interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I wanted to cover the topic of mugs and I wanted to go over all things mugs because there's a lot of different ways that people are going with mugs and I just wanted to kind of cover pros, cons, different ways that you can go about doing mugs and selling mugs in your shop. Um, so I've made mug videos before, um, but that was mostly just showing you one specific design here. I'm going to talk about different types of designs. Um, and so I just used this example right here as a funny mug. The hills are alive with the sound of, well, you can read the rest. Perfect for an office, um, office type gift. This is an example of a mug where you've got one individual design and you can print it front and back. Um, if you ask me, this is still the best way to do mugs is to just do it this way with the one design printed front and back. What's great about this is you can still use this one design that you created and you can put it on all sorts of other products as well. So this design I created, I have it on shirts, sweatshirts, yes, a mug, um, but again, you can put it on phone cases, you can put it on pop sockets, you can put it on pretty much any product that you can think of because you've got this individual design that you can then go ahead and put on lots of things. But I know that people um, are curious a lot about mug wraps um, and you'll see a lot of mug wraps um, on Creative Fabrica. And there's some pros and cons to the mug wraps. So if I was to just go ahead and jump over to Creative Fabrica real quick, so I have gone ahead and just done a search for mug wraps in Creative Fabrica, and you will see all sorts of awesome mug wraps that you can use. And they all look really amazing, and there are just tons of them, and they look beautiful um, when you see them here. The problem with mug wraps is, and you can kind of see a little bit, though they do a fairly good job of hiding it, is you can see the handle is still white, on these, the handle is still white. You will not be able to print on the handle, but not only will you not be able to print on the handle, but there will typically be a gap of maybe an inch or so that will just be like a white streak that'll go down the side with the handle. So there'll always be a gap in the design because when they print, they can't print all the way around. And so even though you can't usually see it in the beautiful mock-ups that they give you, it will be there. Now there's ways to work with it, um, ways to work around it, ways to emphasize it so that it looks intentional versus not intentional. Um, but all of these beautiful mug wrap ups, um, wraps, they will give you that. With the exception of something like this, where we have the cats. You have the cats going all the way around, but it is not a solid um, image. It's a bunch of like, individual graphics with the white background. That way you won't get that cut off line that you would get with something that would be more solid like this. And so I've got some examples to show you. I'll jump right back over to my Canva page to show you kind of what I'm talking about. Okay, so here are some examples on the left-hand side of mug wraps that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica, and they're all very pretty. You've got these breakthrough ones that I think look awesome. You know, here's a nice um, like beach theme. Here's the baseball kind of theme here. And you can see what these mug wraps will look like if I was to put them on mugs. And so this one gives you the best example here where you can see the area that won't be printed. So here's your handle. The mug wrap will go all the way around, but you'll still end up with this big gap here. And that's gonna be true on all of these that are gonna have a solid mug wrap. Even something like the breakout ones, the, the breakthrough ones that look really cool, if the background isn't totally 100% white, you will still get that line. So you can see here, this is an example of, I think it's this one down here, and the background is sort of a little bit of a gray shade. It's meant to be white, but it's a little bit gray, so you're still gonna get that stark line there. Now there's a few things you can try to do with these. Sometimes you can do a background remover and see if it'll get rid of the white, and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you can go ahead and play with the image and try to bump up that contrast and bring out the whites to see if you can get this white background to look a little bit whiter. 
without totally distorting the actual image that you want. And so there's ways that you can kind of make it look a little bit better, but whenever you print a solid wrap on a mug, you are always gonna get that cutoff line. You can also see sometimes the mugs will have a border around the top and the bottom too, depending on how big you make that. Or you can print completely top to bottom, which is what this one shows, where the printing goes all the way to the top of the mug, all the way to the bottom, but it still has that gap there. Here, it doesn't go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom, so you get a little bit of a, um, a border around the top and bottom there on that one. But that's kind of the, the thing that will happen with mug wraps. Um, so my suggestion is if you want to do a mug wrap, you would want to do something a little bit more like this, but with a white background, and I'll show you here in one sec. Okay, so these are the ones that I think work well. So this is an example of one that I did get from Creative Fabrica, and it was kind of a mug wrap here, but it worked the same as having an image front and back, and the background was totally white, so I didn't get that big cutoff that you would get with any other color. So if the background's really bright white, you know, then you can make it work or you do a background remover and that looks really nice. And you can just sort of get the print front and back, which is what this wrap was. This is the one I showed you before, which was just the individual image front and back. And people do like to print on black and white mugs um, and you can do either or. So they're actually both popular. It used to be, I'd say mostly white mugs sold, but you know, black mugs are doing well too now. And then this is the one that I wanted to show you. This is a mug that I sell in my Etsy shop. And this is one where I made my own wrap, but I did it in a very intentional way where you can see there's going to be a gap where the handle is, but I also left a really wide black border here. I left a really wide black border at the bottom and I sort of bordered my whole design with this gold. So it looks like a banner and you, you can't really tell on just this one shot, but this was intentionally done so that you can see it, it, it looks intentional. It doesn't look like a, you know, like this one, for example, where the design just stops and you're like, what the heck? Or this one where the design just stops. And this was done very intentionally. And so it works out a lot better. So if you're gonna do some sort of a wrap, you can make your own and make it look very intentional by putting literally a border around the wrap. That way it looks as though it's meant to have a border. And I can show you this in my shop. Give me one second. Okay, so here is the listing of that mug that I mentioned here. <clears throat> and so this just shows you that that front side. Here is a mock-up I did of two mugs side by side to sort of give you the look of the whole wrap um, a little bit. So it says Doctor of Physical Therapy around the top. It's a um, you know, it's just like a banner mug and it's meant to be like a graduation gift. And I have it listed as a doctor of physical therapy graduation gift, physical therapist graduation gift, doctor of physical therapy mug, physical therapist mug. And so that's how I have it listed on Etsy. Um, and so I've got several, you know, different mock-ups showing it at different angles, but showing that it does have that black gap there. And that is intentional and it looks intentional so it's not going to give you the same bad look that you get from you know some of those other wraps and I always do you know um, prefer to make my own designs as opposed to using pre-made ones you don't necessarily want to just use something that somebody else made because there's going to be a thousand of those up there so anytime you can do something original and do your own thing that's always going to be better and for this because I do have it listed as a graduation gift you know, PT schools graduate twice a year typically. And so twice a year, you'll see these selling a lot more than other times, though this is something that can sell year round. It does tend to, with a lot of my other um, professional type stuff, sell more around graduation time. But that is just an example of, of different styles of mugs. Now I did wanna jump also over to Printful, no, sorry, Printify. That's the one that I used for this mug. And so if I'm on Printify right now and I have my mugs, here are the different mugs that you can use. And there's a bunch of different ones. Typically to keep things simple, I mostly just do the 11 ounce, um, either simple white, simple black, or occasionally the two tone if it works really well with my design. Um, those are probably the three that I would use the most. 
Um, and so these are the ones that I showed you the examples of the white and the black. And if you were to click on any one of those, so let's just go ahead and go with the black one, it's going to give you the dimensions that you can print for. So if I come down here and I go to start designing here, it's pulling up that template for me. And it's going to give you the print area size right here in pixels. So this is how big you would want to make your canvas. So it would be 2,475 pixels by 1,155 pixels. And so that's the area that you would want to design in. And so you can make a blank canvas that's that size. And within that blank canvas, I'll typically, you know, make my one design here, and then I can just copy and paste it and put it on the other side here. If I'm doing a two-sided one, or if I'm doing a banner one like the one I just showed you, then this is the area that I would design in. Um, I'll show you what this is going to look like if I put up, you know, again, any one of those examples um, from Creative Fabrica. So I can go to upload here and I can upload from my device. And so here's one that I just got from the device. And it's probably not a great one to put on a black mug, but just so you get the idea. If I keep it here, and in fact, even if I shrink it down a little bit, I can try to intentionally get that black border a little bit more. So if I do that and then I go to preview, so here is a preview of that, and you can see very clearly on this one the contrast, but we can see the border, how I got the border on the top and the bottom, and then, of course, the border there. Obviously, this is, you know, it, it's going to stand out very starkly against the black background, but even if this was a white mug, you would still get that line because this is not white, so you would still get that big, stark background. Now, I can go ahead and take this design and try to blow it up a little bit. And by blowing it up a little bit, I can try to get rid of that black border. Okay, so it minimized the border. This one does not print top to bottom. So that is, you'll always get that level of border on this mug. I can't make it any bigger. That is the print area that I'm working with. The white mug though will print top to bottom. So you'll have to look at the individual mugs to see how they print because different companies and different mugs will print differently. The white one does print all the way top to bottom, but you'd still get that big gap right there. So anyways, those are the main things that I wanted to talk to you guys about when it came to mugs, okay? So when you're thinking about mugs that you want to design for, obviously there's a thousand styles. The, break, the breakthrough ones here are pretty popular, and if you can make it so that it doesn't, um, doesn't give you this sharp contrast, if you can get this a little bit wider so that it blends a little bit better, that's okay. But you also want to think about what people are buying, and typically when people are buying things, they're buying gifts. Right, so if I'm selling mugs on Etsy, I wanna sell them as gifts. So then I have to start and think, well, what kinds of gifts would people give people? When would they give them gifts? Graduation gifts are great ones, by the way. But, you know, if I was doing a birthday gift for somebody, then it has to do something with their interests. Um, and so you might make uh, mugs that are very specific to interests or coworker gifts, something that would be very funny for a coworker. And so you kind of have to, even when you're designing it, and then of course, when you're doing your title and tags, you have to tailor it towards a, usually a gift for somebody because that's what's really gonna sell the most when it comes to mugs and most products, by the way, a lot of people aren't going out and buying mugs for themselves so much as they're going out and buying them as a gift for others. So those are just things that you need to think about when you're um, doing your designing. And if you are selling it on Etsy, of course, you can make your own mock-ups. So you can use the mock-ups that they give you here. Obviously, they do have some context ones uh, that you can use. And sometimes those are nice. And so here's an example of one of the context ones. And that looks cool. So I'll tend to use some of their context ones. But if I want to make my own, the easiest way to make my own is to download one of these ones that does not have a background, bring it over to Canva, do a background remover so that I just have the mock-up of my mug. And then I can put it over any kind of background that I want. I can do a, a background search, you know, usually a table or a countertop. You can find... Um, nice backgrounds that you can then put your mug on top of. Canva also has lots of um, mug mock-ups. So if I jump back over to my Canva, and so here I am, I can also go up to elements and I can do a search for mug mock-ups. And you're gonna see lots of different mug mock-ups here. Now, it would be kind of hard to get your design on one of these mugs and actually make it look realistic like it's wrapping around. So my suggestion is if I'm doing a mug mock-up, is to take the mock-up 
and replace this mug with the mock-up um, from um, whatever print company you used. And that is what I did down here. So I literally just took this mock-up here that I got right off of um, Printify. I did a background remover so that I just had the mug. And then I put the mug on top of a backdrop. And that is how I would make the mock-up for my mugs. And so I could do this with any of them. You can completely cover the mug if it happens to fit right and just put it right over the top. Or you can use the magic eraser tool to try to erase the original mug from the picture and then put yours over the top. I would not do anything where they're holding it. That's going to be a lot harder to make it look right. So, but something where it's just sort of sitting is going to be the easiest to work with. And so any, any of the backgrounds where you just have a mug sitting. Um, one other thing you have to be careful of is angles. So you can notice in this mug, the angle is shot somewhat downward so that you can see the open of, opening of the mug. You wouldn't want to then put that on top of a background that is not shot at that same angle. So look at the mug in the picture and make sure that the angles look like they match. Like for example, this one here, the mug is straight on so you're not getting that opening shot. So the, the angle of the camera is straight versus here the angle of the camera would be pointed down. So you wouldn't want to put this mug on top of this one because then the angles wouldn't look right for the foreground and the background. So if you are ever making your own mock-ups, just try to make it look as consistent as possible in terms of the angle of your object versus the background, the lighting of your object versus the background. If lighting is coming from the top left, then it should be coming from the top left from everything, not the top left for your item and the top right for the background. So just Things like that if you're creating your own mock-ups just to make sure that they have some continuity and they can, you know, actually look, you know, relatively realistic. But there's all sorts of things that you can, of course, do. If you did want to just try to stick your design right on top of the mug, for example, um, the front and back print would be the easiest way to do that would just be to take the individual design and try to like literally stick it right in front and make it look as realistic as possible. But I don't really recommend that. Again, I recommend just getting these blank mock-ups from like Printify and using those to create your own mock-up. Um, that's how I would do it. So if you have any questions about mugs or anything that you would like to see in terms of a video on mugs, Drop it in the comments section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I know with all the products, there's a lot of different things that you can cover and there's so many products out there for print on demand. And I do recommend, you know, playing with all of them, seeing what works for you and what doesn't, trying to sell a variety of different products. Um, again, just to try to see, you know, you know, what you're good at, what you think sells, what sells for the niches that you're into or the design styles that you're into. Um, and so it's always good to play with these. Um, Printify and Printful both have mugs that you can sell um, and you can sell those on Etsy or you could sell them on Amazon via Seller Central. Right now, um, Amazon Merch does not sell mugs. So that is something that you could sell on Amazon through Seller Central where you would not have to compete with Merch. Um, and so I do sell on merch and I do sell through Seller Central and I try not to compete with myself. So for example, I'm usually not going to sell things like shirts and t-shirts on Amazon through Seller Central because I'm already selling those through merch and merch gives free shipping and, and all of that. So I don't want to have to compete with merch, but anything that merch does not do is a good thing to sell on Amazon um, through Seller Central. So things like stickers any kind of embroidery, hats, mugs, any kind of glassware, any of those kinds of items are things that you can sell on Amazon um, that won't be competing with Amazon merch. And so I sell different items on different platforms. Obviously, SEO is different for different platforms. The audience is different for different platforms. So you're not always gonna sell the same thing on every platform, you really have to tailor what items and what designs you sell and the ways that you title and tag them for each particular platform. And I do obviously recommend selling on as many platforms as you can because the more stuff you got out there, the more likely you are to make sales and make money, which is, I'm guessing, why you're in this. <laughs> so I'm sorry for that little rambling rant. Um, 
Again, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. I do try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well with your sales. I hope you watched my video last week on um, upcoming niches for the third quarter because we should be working on those now. And other than that, I just hope you guys are doing good and I hope to see you again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.